Lawrence Weisdorn, Chairman and COO of Vision Industries Corp. on what it takes to get a zero emissions heavy duty truck fleet up and running today. We were incorporated about three years ago and uh, the concept was simply that uh, we can go to zero emissions with heavy duty commercial trucks today. Uh, we don't have to worry about doing the incremental steps of uh, slightly reducing the environmental benefits of the trucks through CNG or LNG. Uh, the technology exists uh, to go to zero emissions today and we were created to uh, capitalize on that. The company prior to this uh, we uh, figured out a way of making ethanol from wood chips and I viewed uh, ethanol as basically a stepping stone in the right direction. Um, ultimately an interesting way to look at it is all fuels whether it be wood, coal, oil, gasoline, diesel, ethanol, methanol are hydrocarbons. You put the uh, fuel into the engine, the engine only wants the hydrogen. It deals with the hydrogen and then you have to dispose of the carbon. Uh, the very world's first internal combustion engine 1806 ran on hydrogen. Sixty years later someone uh, figured out how to make it run on gasoline. 1892 Rudolf Diesel came along and it's been diesel and gasoline ever since because they're the cheapest per mile. We're now at an inflection point where it's actually cheaper per mile to drive on hydrogen. Uh, so you're, it's, it's basically the technology has come full circle in the last 200 years and we're at a point now where the company was formed to capitalize on cheaper uh, miles uh, uh, transportation. The current truck you see behind us is the uh, prototype and uh, uh, based on what we've learned from the prototype uh, the full, full production version of the truck will be uh, 470 horsepower. Uh, it will be capable of 3,000 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, that is too much torque for most transmissions available today. So uh, the final production version will be electronically limited to the maximum amount of foot-pounds that each transmission can take, uh, typically in the 1,650 to maybe 1,800 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, this truck was specifically configured uh, for a duty cycle in the ports of Los Angeles, uh, where uh, fully 65% of the fleet do somewhere between 120 and 150 miles per day before returning back to their uh, point of origin. So uh, again, this truck uh, capable up to 200 miles uh, over an eight-hour shift. And what, and tell us something about, about the, the fueling, I mean, what is the typical, uh, how is this working for these uh, fleet managers? Fueling cycle on this, um, we will be, uh, the initial uh, fleets that are, are looking at picking us, we will uh, drop off a refueling uh, pod basically in their yards. Uh, the fueling experience uh, is very similar to uh, CNG. Uh, takes approximately five to seven minutes to uh, refuel the truck. Okay, thanks. Great, good job guys. Thank you. Thank you so much.